The blades of wind turbines are usually a fiberglass laminate, but some manufacturers are using carbon with fiberglass in an epoxy matrix. This mix increases stiffness while reducing the overall blade mass and cost of larger blades. How big do they make them? It is not uncommon to see blade sizes of 60 to 80 meters, and there are prototypes with blades up to 120 meters or the length of a football field. But blade size and count need to be carefully planned for each unique environment. How fast does the wind have to be to make electricity? Most present-day wind turbines are designed to begin producing power with wind speeds of 5 meters per second. They are designed for maximum efficiency at wind speeds between 12 and 15 meters per second. When wind speeds increase past these limits, pitch control systems are triggered to slow the blades down. Winds above 22 meters per second can damage components, so control systems usually pitch the blades to stop rotation altogether. Most turbines are equipped with an anemometer that measures wind speeds and transmits data to the controller. Turbines use a wind vane to measure the direction of the wind and a yaw drive to change the angle of the turbine to catch the most efficient amount of wind. Do they use computers to control the angle and direction of turbines? Yes. Controllers ensure that the systems are all doing their jobs with maximum efficiency. Dozens of sensors control rotor speed, blade pitch angle, torque to the generator, and power conversion voltage. The controller is also equipped with sensors that make critical safety decisions. When extreme wind conditions persist, the pitch control systems quickly shut down the rotors from spinning and direct the blades by furling them so that the edge of the blade is facing into the wind. Towers are often made of steel mounted on a concrete foundation. The major variable in tower design is height. Wind often blows faster at higher altitudes. Wind shear is the variation in wind velocity with altitude and is most dramatic near the surface because of the drag created by obstacles such as the land and sea and the viscosity of the air. These factors are researched for particular sites and tower heights are built according to average wind conditions.